Hi. It's Monday. Hey, let's start with some uh, stretching. Let's just kind of get limbered up here a little bit. Just do some five squats. Got a good lineup today. Take it down and hold it. And you can kind of go side to side, just kind of loosen up your thighs, inner thighs a little bit. Let's do some hip openers. So five on each leg. Switch sides. So we have uh, three blocks of 10 minutes. We've got five moves. We'll do each move for a minute or actually 50 seconds of rest. And then um, we'll move through the circuit that way for 30 minutes. Um, just walk it out into a plank and then take it back. We're just kind of limbering up here a little bit. Just walk it out, do some inchworms. Walk your hands back, stand up. You can keep your legs straight or you can bend your knees if you need to and bring it back up. Let's do one more. Okay, give me some arm circles. We're gonna do some shoulder work. So again, three blocks of 10 minutes, five moves. We'll do two rounds of each circuit. Before we move on to the next, we'll have a little break in between there. So first circuit is high knees. You can march and just do a knee lift uh, if you like, or jog in place. We'll do a lunge with a bicep curl. So if you have weights, grab your weights. We're gonna lunge, do a bicep curl, take it back. And we'll just alternate um, each leg that way. We'll do a goblet squat, squat where you can hold a dumbbell in your hand and do a squat. And then we'll do a deadlift where you'll have weights down here and bend, keep your uh, back flat and then bring it up. So you do not have to have weights to do that. You can do it without. And when you come up, you just really squeeze the glutes in the back of the legs, but certainly weights help. And then we'll do some donkey kicks, 30 seconds on each. So that is circuit one. Let's go. Let me get my little starter timer here. We'll start with high knees. Three, two, one, go. Good job. So for those of you that I have some people that just follow me on YouTube, uh, just a heads up if you ever want to join in on a live Zoom workout. Those are posted in my private Facebook group, Carrie's Fitness Crew, just what I started after I closed my curves. And it's just grown with some ladies inviting their friends. So um, you can join Carrie's Fitness Crew on Facebook, and then you can get the link if you ever want to hop in live. We do them at 9 a.m., Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Monday is strength, Tuesday, Friday are dance. So otherwise, just find me on YouTube, I guess, if you want to do a workout. That works, too. All right. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we got 10 seconds in between each, so I'm going to grab my weights for the lunge, bicep, Curl. Three. Ready? Two. One. Go. Take a lunge, bicep curl, push it back. Alternate legs. Not fast moves here. Think about what you're doing. You may have fives, you may have tens. You may have 15s, you may have 25s, wherever you're at. Just trying to work as many body parts as we can. Three, two, one, rest. All right, so goblet squat is next. Get your breath. I'm going to hold at 25. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. 
Really squeeze your cheeks at the top. Think about elbows to the top of your leg. These are not speed squats here. Halfway there. We're going to do that deadlift next. We've got 10 seconds left here. Three, two, one, rest. All right, good. I'm going to go to deadlift. Got my 25s. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Flat back. Bring it up. Take it over. I bend my knees slightly, touch the floor, bring it up. Hamstring and glute. there. Good job. Keep going. Three, two, one, rest. All right. We're going into donkey kicks. So halfway, we'll switch legs. Three, two, right leg. One, go. So foot to ceiling. Squeeze that glute. Try to stay even on your mat and not leaning to one side. Foot to ceiling, squeeze in the tush. Halfway there. All right, switch to the left. Three, two, one, rest. All right, bring it up. Good job. We'll do some. Uh, three. Let me go through it two, again. One, go. Here we go. High knees. So that was one circuit down. We'll do that one more time and then we'll go to a different set of moves. So high knees, the lunge with the bicep curl, goblet squat, deadlifts, and donkey kicks. Get a little heart pumper right here. There. Remember, you can just do knees if you want to take out the impact. You do you, totally okay. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. All right, lunge with a bicep curl. Three, two, one, go. Here we go, lunge on the right leg, curl it up, left leg. there. Going slow doesn't make it any easier. I love a slow lift. Three, two, one, rest. All right, going into that goblet squat. I'm going to just hold a little heavier weight. Three, two, one, go. Elbows to the top of your thighs. 
Squeeze that glute at the top. Make sure your knees are not caving in. Halfway there. Booty goes to the back. Give you a side, side view. So you don't want to be doing this. Okay, booty back. Three, two, one, rest. All right, deadlift. Take a breath. Three, two, one, go. Squeeze at the top, lower, knees bend slightly, squeeze. Back is flat. So I go down slow and then pull it up. You definitely feel this more if you have a heavier weight. There. If you've just got a set of five dumbbells, you're not gonna feel it too much, but you can still squeeze the back of that leg. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, donkey kicks. 30 seconds on each leg. Starting with the right. Three, two, one, go. Really squeeze that glute. <clears throat> you should feel it. You don't want to hyperextend your back trying to get that leg up too high. As soon as you feel squeeze that glute. Halfway there. Okay, switch to the left. Staying in the middle of your mat. Good job, keep lifting. This is the end of our circuit. First circuit. Workout complete. Ah, good job. All right, get a drink. Let's take a minute here. <clears throat> All right, taking a rest. Catch your breath. So the next 10 minutes will be squat jacks, I'll demo that. So you jump down and touch. You can certainly step out, low impact. Just step out side to side if you don't wanna do the hop. And then we'll do heel slides. Shoulders are off the ground, palms are up. I also call these squirmies. That's what I know them as, squirmies, heel slides. Tap the sides of your feet. We will do a Russian twist. I have a weighted ball here. You can hold on to a dumbbell. If you like, or you don't have to have anything. So you can hold something with your feet up, twist side to side. You can leave your feet on the mat for stability and just reach, look side to side. No weight and just twist side to side. So lots of options there. Then we'll do a butterfly sit up with the feet together. Arms go back, come all the way up. So my bottoms of my feet together. This is a butterfly, come all the way down, do a sit up. And then the last one is just a plank, just a plank hold. So you can be on your hands or you can be down on your elbows and we'll just hold that for the one minute. And we'll do that twice. Okay, round two, let's do it. 10 seconds, we'll start with squat jacks. Three, Three, two, one, go. Here we go. I'm very light on my feet, staying on the balls of my feet to protect knees. 
Just a light little hop, barely getting off the floor. Really getting some mobility in those hips too. Halfway there. Some glute work. Just popping in a little cardio move. We'll go into the heel slides after this. We're squirmies. Almost there, let's go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we've got 10 seconds transition. Come down onto your mat. Three, two, one, go. We're going to target these obliques with two good moves right in a row. Get some core work in. Halfway there. Take a break whenever you need to. Three, two, one, rest. All right, good job. So Russian twist, hold a weight if you wish. Just gonna hold the ball. Three, two, one, go. This is not fast. So you're just balancing right on your tailbone. You want to keep your back straight. Just twist side to side. If you need to drop your feet to the mat, halfway there. feel free or keep them lifted for a little bit harder. The slower you go, the harder it gets. <laughs> Butterfly sit up is next. Three, two, one, rest. All right, take a breath. 10 seconds. Feet together. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. All the way back. Bring it up. Good job, keep Halfway going, there. keep those feet together. Woo, almost there. Three, two, one, rest. All right, so we're gonna do that plank hold from here. On your mat, you can be on your knees. You can hold your Three, plank here. Two, one, go. I'm gonna come on my elbows and on my toes. My shoulders are pretty sore from planking last week. I was trying to work on some goals and hold them for a while. And uh, definitely feeling the effects of that yesterday and today. Way there. And my core, super sore. Did a six minute plank on Saturday while I watched the video. Set the timer, watched the video on YouTube till the timer went off. It was a great distraction. Kind of like when you're on the treadmill, you got to have something to occupy your time or it's like, three, two, feels like forever. One, rest. All right, bring it up. We're going back into those squat jacks. Here we go, round two of this circuit. Last time through. Can we give you a 
the side. So booty goes back, head stays up. You're not down here. Okay, so look ahead. And I just tap my fingers so I know that I lower far enough. Get a little burn in those legs before we hit the mat again. Three, two, one, rest. All right, heel slides, squirmies. Three, two, one, go. Shoulders are off, tap the sides of your feet. Feel that crunch right here in the sides, those obliques, that waistline, keeping your lower back on the mat. Halfway there. You got it, keep going. I feel the burn here too. Those muscles are growing. That's what we want. Three, two, one, rest. All right, Russian twist. Wait or no wait. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. I shouldn't say those muscles are growing. They're not growing right now while we're doing this, even though you might think they are because sometimes it feels like you can just feel those muscles getting bigger in your legs when you're doing squats. But really, you're tearing the muscle fibers and then we feed them protein after this and then they grow. Halfway there. Good job, keep twisting. You're right on your sits bone. So there's a lot of balance. We're using a lot of core muscles to keep you here. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. All right, butterfly sit ups, feet together. Three, last time through. Two, one, go. You can really feel your spine like rolling down all your vertebrae and then rolling it right back up. Halfway there. Really using those lower abs to pull you up. And as always, if any move is just really too much for you, then switch to a move that we did that you like. Maybe you just prefer to hold a plank. Or do more Three, heel slides. Two, one, rest. All right, plank hold. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. So elbows are right underneath your shoulders. I make a fist, almost like I'm making a box right here on the mat. I'm looking down at my mat. I'm not straining my neck. My Heels are like pushing to the back wall. And I just tighten up my core. And everything feels even. Like I don't feel like I have too much Halfway weight there. forward or backwards. I'm not sagging. So there is a sweet spot in the plank where you can just, every muscle is working and you can feel pretty stable in it. Workout complete. Okay, round two is done. All right, let's take a breather. Okay, one more circuit and we're done. Are you ready? We're gonna go over just a hair. Okay, so we have dumbbell thrusters. 
So weights are here, come down to a squat and lift them. Come down, push up. Okay, so we're gonna do those. And then we have lateral raise. So out to the side. I'm gonna go lighter, probably start with tens, maybe I'll switch to fives, because that's a little bit harder to do heavy weight wise. Um, okay, thrusters, lateral raise. We'll do a single arm front raise. So hold your weight and we'll just go to the front. And then we'll do a dumbbell row, 30 seconds on each side, pulling it back. And then we'll switch to the left, 30 seconds. And then last is a reverse fly. Okay. All right, let's go. Last minute block, two rounds, dumbbell thrusters. These will get your heart rate up. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Squat, lift. Thirty seconds left. Halfway there. Three, two, one, rest. Oh boy, I was felt that. All right, lateral raise. Three, two, one, go. Not sure. I'm going to start with these tens. I'm not sure if I can do the whole time. <sighs> My shoulders are really sore this morning. Now, if you have lighter weights, you can go faster. Halfway there. I do what I can without sacrificing form. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, that's a tough one for me. All right, single arm front raise. Three, two, one, go. Really squeezing my core here with this too. My knees are soft. My right shoulder is the wonky one. That's a little bit weaker. Left is good. Halfway there. Almost there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, drop those. We're gonna go into a dumbbell row. So one foot is forward. Three, one is back. Two, one, go. And just bring that elbow right to the ceiling. Got my left hand on my left thigh. Get your balance. Don't fall over. Slow and controlled, abs are in. Last in the there. back of that shoulder. All right, let's switch, left side. Three, two, one, rest. 
All right, reverse fly. I'm going light, five pounds. Three, two, one, go. Here we go, fly out to the side. So I'm slightly bent over, shoulder blades are squeezing in the back. Knees are soft, abs are in, always, always, always. If this feels too easy, go, go heavier, you know. You can there. Always drop, drop down, start with 10, drop to a five. Start with eight, drop to a five. Getting a lot of burn here. We got five more minutes. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back to the dumbbell thrusters. Three, two, one, go. Squat, lift up. You can do this without weights too. It's like your grip starts to go before anything else. Three, two, one, rest. All right, lateral raise. Whew. Three, two, one, All right, let's go. Go. Dropping. <laughs> Oh, the storm shoulder. So this is straight up to the side. I'm gonna go a little bit faster since my weights are lighter. Halfway there. Still feel a burn in the shoulder. Always good to try a little heavier, get a few reps, but won't, don't let your form go wonky. You really hurt yourself. Three, two, one, rest. All right, single arm front raise. One arm out in front at a time. Two, one, go. Use your arms and your shoulders, not momentum. Good job. Halfway there. I am feeling this. Woo. It's like when the mean faces start, you know you're getting too fatigued. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, good job. We're going to go into that dumbbell row. Three. Right side. Two, one, go. You might be able to go heavier on this, just this movement. Halfway there. All right, switch to the left. This is not a lateral movement for me, so I can, since it's pulling straight up, I'm just stronger in that area, so I can go heavier. So play around with that. Just because you've always picked up a 10 to do this doesn't mean you can't do a 15 or a 20 or Three, more. Two, one. 
rest. All right, good job. All right, last one, reverse slide. Three, two, and over slightly. One, go. Squeeze the shoulder blades in the back. And this is it. I feel like everybody, everything is a little shaky and fatigued. My head is sweating. Halfway there. But I'm not coughing up a lung because I'm doing crazy, crazy cardio. So this is good. Feels good. Make sure you get your protein in within 30 minutes after this. A protein shake, Greek yogurt, some eggs, about 25 to 30 grams within 30 minutes. Feed these muscles. Workout complete. <sighs> All right, let's stretch. Bring that arm across. <sighs> so much time, yeah. Yeah, we went over today. We'll do a quick, quick stretch and then you keep stretching on your own. Bring the arm behind. Oh, good job today. Showing up at the beginning of the week. Sometimes this is the hardest one, but it kind of sets you on the right path, gets your momentum for a good week. Stretch behind. Really get those arms and shoulders good because we hit them pretty hard that last set. All right, pull up one leg, stretch that quad. All right, switch legs. All right, cross one foot over your left knee, sit back into it, stretch this outer hip. Good job, switch legs, left over your right, sit back. You need to hold on to something. It's always good to have a chair nearby or a couch or coffee table or something. All right, let's just fold it forward, touch the floor, stretch the back of those hamstrings from all those deadlifts we did. Roll it up, flat back, take it over, slow, stretch the hamstrings, hang your head. All right, last one, toe stretch. Kind of rushing through these stretches since we went over everything else. <clears throat> but always stretch helps helps with soreness and helps with flexibility. The more flexible you are, the better form you have when you're doing weights. So always important. All right, thanks for being here with me. You keep me accountable. We're moving and grooving together. I'll see you next time. <laughs>